Today I'm ranking every Chapter 5 Battle Pass skin. Personally, I think Chapter 5 has released some awesome Battle Pass skins. I think every season has had great skins so far. So I'm really looking forward to doing this tier list. So let's get started. And we're going to start with Chapter 5 Season 1, The Underground Season. And we're going to be starting with Hope. I, actually, I think Hope was a really good skin. I think I like her like heroic Hope suit that we just got in Chapter 5 Season 4 a little more. But I do think she was a really good Tier 1 skin. So I'm going to be putting her in S. Specifically because I I really liked her red alternate version also i should clarify i'm not ranking like super levels it's just going to be their base version and their alternate versions no super styles will be involved when i'm thinking about this ranking now when it comes to nisha honestly super clean super simple skin i love those when they work out really well when they look really good in fortnite so nisha is actually going s plus for me that might be a hot take right off the bat but i really enjoyed that skin she was my favorite from the battle pass that season up next is oscar and i wouldn't want to get in a fight with this guy this guy looks tough uh i really loved his white tiger look so this skin is actually going in a overall i think underground had a really good battle pass looking back at it montague was another really good skin he was super clean he looked fresh he had the diamond version i'm pretty sure he was like the leader of the society or he started the society he's got that fancy hotel overall i think his skin just kind of sort of like nisha was super clean super simple looked really good putting him in s up next is the goat he can't go anywhere else but s plus that's peter griffin that's the go right there put some respect on his name he doesn't belong anywhere else but s plus up next is valeria who's really driven the plot for this chapter five honestly uh i really like her skin i think they're really good i'm actually putting her in s plus i think she's one of the better tier 100 skins this chapter and in fortnite in general and she gets a bonus points because like i said she's driven the plot for this chapter or at least she started the plot with pandora's box so the bonus skin from that season was solid snake and they did a really good job with him he's going in s i don't have too much to say on him besides i love how accurate they made him and i think they just made him look super slick and i just like the skin a lot it's crazy to think that the worst skin in my opinion from that battle pass was oscar but he's an a so he's like still a really high tier i realized after recording and editing this video that we were actually missing a skin in this chapter 5 season 1 battle pass and that was underground jonesy so i just want to say really quickly that i like the skin but i would have him in b tier so next we're doing the myths and mortals chapter 5 season 2 battle pass starting with cerberus easily going s i think he was one of the better skins from that battle pass i think every version of him was really good up next is aphrodite i actually thought her blue version was her best version the thing with this skin is it's good right and i liked using it but the survey skin for it was so much better that it almost felt like a letdown so i'm putting her in a but overall still a really clean really good skin up next is medusa and her warrior version is actually my favorite skin from that battle pass so going s plus i think they absolutely killed it with her hair with her eyes and like i said that warrior suit it just looks so good in game up next is zeus and i don't know why they gave this guy camouflage army gray pants no idea why his white suit looked a little better his white outfit but i'm gonna be putting him in c i just really didn't enjoy that skin that much plus he wanted to kill the mortals so f zeus up next is supposedly his brother poseidon don't really know how he's his brother since it's just ripley but buff uh going in d I really didn't like that skin to be honest with you i don't think i wore it one time maybe i did for like a meme skin one game uh, i'm not the biggest fan of meme skins i'm gonna just be honest if you love them that's great i'm glad you enjoy the meme skins they're just not for me but yeah this one's going in d up next is hades really good tier 100 skin i feel like in chapter 5 they just nailed it with the tier 100 skins he is going in s sometimes i go back and forth if it should be s plus or s i think i'm gonna stick with s though like if i'm hesitating on it and i'm not sold to put him in s plus i think he should definitely be an s but overall such a great skin up next is artemis and she's another one she's going in s as well she was probably my second favorite skin from that battle pass it was her medusa and hades as my top three and cerberus would be fourth in her base version the purple galaxy look is easily my favorite for her up next is Korra, and i just really didn't care about this skin at all to be honest with you the blue glow i don't know exactly what that style was called i can't remember i would say that is the better version of the two but overall i just didn't really care for this skin at all avatar just felt like a weird collab during a greek mythology season up next is the machinist and she is going a overall a good skin i'm not counting super style as if i was her black and blue and her like black and green version would definitely be up in s but as a base version i'm putting her in 
Baron A. She reminds me of Jules, but I like Jules more as a skin, but overall still a really good skin. I wore quite a bit and she was a really good tier one skin. Up next is Rust. He's going in B. Huh, that's my first B skin for this tier list. Uh, over, he looks cool. Uh, he had a pretty cool, I think it was like a white and gold style. Don't get me wrong, I liked his skin, but I don't think he lived up to like X-Lord. I think X-Lord is still the standard for those Rust skins. Up next is Ringmaster Scar. So this one's kind of interesting because I'm not the biggest fan of her base version, but I love her hyena helmet version. So for that, I'm going to be putting her in A because the hyena version is so sick. If that was the base version, the skin would easily be an S or an S plus for me. Peabody, he's going in D. I just don't like the skin at all. I think it's a very like lackluster meme skin, to be honest. Up next is the T60 power armor. And even though they're super bulky and I don't really wear bulky skins, I got to respect how good of a job they did of going in S. The T60 power armor looks so good, especially that Black Knight version just looks super clean. I can really appreciate how good of a skin it is. And then up next is Bright Raider, who is surprisingly my favorite skin from the chapter five, season three battle pass. I really wasn't expecting that because I'm not like the biggest Bright Bomber fan, uh, but the Bright Raider just is easily my favorite Bright skin. And I think her base style and her two alternate styles are really good and look really clean in game. Up next is Megalodon. He is a really cool looking tier 100 skin. I think he's my least favorite tier 100, but he's still really good. He gives me Bane vibes a little bit with the nitro fluent through him, but overall still a really cool tier 100. Up next is Magneto and I love Magneto. I really do, but I don't know. I think it's the Wastelander skin. I just don't like it that much. I like the comic one. The comic suit looks really good, which is why it's in B and not C. So now we're in our chapter five, season four season, our current Marvel season. This is a really good battle pass in my opinion, starting with the tier one Gwenpool going A. They did a really good job with the comic accuracy and I like that they gave her a normal version along with a cell shaded version and I really like the dark Gwenpool skin but what brings it down is that Gwendolyn pool style just not the biggest fan of it so for that it's going to be an A. War Machine is for sure going S plus. Easily one of the better skins in the battle pass. They did a good job with the War Machine look and the Iron Patriot look and they also did a really good job with the helmet off look. They made Rhodey super handsome I'm not going to lie. Overall a great skin. Up next is Peel Vereen. One of the better meme skins to be honest with you so he's going to be going in B. I do think the remix skins bring this battle pass down a little bit. I would have rather seen these in the item shop but overall I got to put some respect on the fact that they did a good job with the styles. Up next is Emma Frost for sure going S plus. The base version, the diamond form, the dark look for Emma Frost, all of it just looks so good. They did such a good job with their skin. Honestly hard to mess up Emma Frost but overall going in S plus. Up next is Captain Jones and he's going right there with Peel Vereen. Like I said I like these remix skins. I just wish they would have been in the item shop but I got to put some respect on the fact that they look really good in the game. And I like that we got Cap stealth suit. I do wish it was on Steve Rogers rather than Jonesy, but it still looks good either way. Up next is Mysterio, one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man villains. S plus for sure. They absolutely killed it with this skin. The fishbowl looks incredible. The green suit, the purple cape, overall 10 out of 10 skin. And our tier 100 skin for season four, Shuri, also an S plus skin in my opinion. I love that they gave her base version, the Zero War look, and then it goes into her Black Panther outfit that looks so good, especially with the purple kinetic glow. And then her white suit of this Zero War comic base outfit looks super clean in the bonus rewards. I really can't wait to use that skin. And then last but not least is Dr. Doom, our bonus skin for chapter five, season four, going in S. They did a phenomenal job. I can't wait to see his second style. It might be out by the time this video gets released, but I know whatever armor he's making for himself is going to look really good in game. And he honestly just looks really good this season. But this is my chapter five battle pass skin tier list. Let me know what you agree with. Let me know what you don't agree with. I love those kind of conversations in the comments. Let me know some of your favorite chapter five battle pass skins. And if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and use code Toon Spider in the item shop to support me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.